construct of reality. Um, science is often, I want to go back to this point that I made earlier, we didn't, uh, didn't f fully cover it, I don't think. Science is often considered to be arrogant in abrogating to itself in the eyes of some, my own included, the claim to be the sole root, root to true, complete, and perfect knowledge. Yet some of its greatest achievements are extraordinarily humbling. Nowhere is its achievement so majestic in this abject humbling appropriately so complete as in its role in putting man in his place in the world. Yeah. Would you just like to gloss that a little bit for me? Mm. Well, uh, uh, the, the, the pride we've just touched on already, the, mm -hmm. the pride of um, being able to dis discover a method of discovering truth. Um, the, um, the humbling is the nature of the truth that we thereby discover. In particular, the fact that we are not the centre of the universe, that you know, the universe was not designed for our comfort or more reasonably our discomfort, if you look at it with a more cynical eye. Um, uh, so you know, everything we discover cosmologically really diminishes our place progressively our centrality in the universe, in the sense that the, um, you know, first of all, you know, the Earth was the centre, then it was shoved off to orbit the Sun, then the Sun is really shoved off to edge of a galaxy. The galaxy is not particularly special, uh, certainly not central in any way. Even the universe itself might simply be just one of an infinite number of other universes. So our, our pettiness is increasing. And so in that sense, we are being progressively humiliated. Um, but <laughs> at the same time, you know, we are discovering that we are being progressively humiliated. And I think that's an extraordinary ability in which we should take pride. 